So tell us a little bit um, about the project, where you filmed uh, your character, how you prepare for it, because I know you do have something in common with your character. Yeah, um, well, the, um, okay, we, we shoot the, uh, the show over at Universal, NBC Universal, mm -hmm. um, in, um, in, in Burbank there. And um, yeah, my, you know, on the show, I play a character, uh, Magic, um, who uh, was in Vietnam and uh, had an experience. He, um, uh, he's a, a lifelong military man. Once he becomes an admiral, he sort of finds out about this project, finds out that the Quantum Leap had been shut down. They left Sam Beckett, who was in the original series. He had never been brought home. And so he works very hard to get the project up. And so uh, I run the Quantum Leap project. Um, oh. And that's kind of who, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if that answered the question, but you know. Well, I, I think uh, the, your character, you have some experience as a soldier or you were, uh, you started as a Marine. Oh, you're talking about me personally. Okay, uh, yes. yeah, I, um, I went to the Marine Corps in 64. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, unfortunately, um, some would say fortunately, uh, I have, uh, I had asthma. I don't have so much trouble with it anymore, but because of the asthma, I was uh, discharged early. And so uh, I never went to Vietnam. I actually came back home and, and, um, and went to college. Uh, but um, yeah, so, so I was, um, yeah, I was around during the time of Vietnam and um, yeah, so. So life had a different, Path whole different Carolina? different turn you know um yeah i i went in uh at when vietnam was just starting up that was in 64. the whole platoon went to vietnam and just before we were to go um i found myself back at home and um not knowing what i was going to do with my life but um uh, there were yeah it went in a different direction so what's your gut feeling with um with quantum leap whatever you see, what do you think it's going to happen with it? Well, I think people, I think, um, yeah. and I haven't been very good about judging because there are shows that I thought would we'll never see <laughs> and they're still around and other shows I thought were going to be the biggest thing. So I'm not uh, the best judge, but I think, I think Quantum Leap is going to be a really exciting addition to a lot of, a lot of product out there now, but I think people are going to really love the show. I think the way it's done, the writing, very creative. Um, it's a very exciting show, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Yeah, it's it's very tricky with reboots, huh? Like yeah, well, well, I think it would be a big if they, if they try to if they try to reboot it. Right. So if they try to go back and do the original show differently, so we're not doing that. That show was what it was, and now it's been on hold, and now somebody's opened up this thing. And we're doing it now. So, mm. you know, we did a reboot of Ghostbusters, yeah. and that was a big mistake. So, by this is 30 years later, we don't have to do that. That was done then. That was a different time, different place. Now we're here in 2020, whatever, 2022. <laughs> and oh, um, so, <laughs> so here we are. We're not trying to, they did that, and uh, you can't outdo that. So, now we're doing our thing. Um, it shares the, the title and the concept, but it's not the same show. Thank you so much. And it was just Thank you. great uh, pleasure talking to you. I hope great you talking to you too. You take care. Good luck with everything. Gracias.